This tutorial will cover how to add a directory to uh, your Moodle. Directories are very uh, good in the sense that they can house a lot of different documents in one area. In other words, if for example on this topic bar I would want to put say 10 PowerPoints for whatever reason. As I add those PowerPoints the topic bar is going to get stretched out pretty far and it's going to get cluttered pretty quickly as well. By displaying a directory, I can put all of those 10 PowerPoints into one folder or directory and simply display that directory. Then when a student clicks on it, they can access those 10 PowerPoints. So here's how to do it. I'm going to go up to Turn Editing On. Under Add a Resource, I'm going to select Display a Directory. Now, as with everything in Moodle, it will ask me to name this. Uh, let's say, for example, you use PowerPoints with your direct instruction, and you want to display this for students in case they uh, happen to be absent or what have you for that, that particular day you cover in class. But you don't want to put 5, 10 PowerPoints in one topic bar. You can simply put them in, into this one, uh, one directory. So you might call it, um, in this case, I'll just uh, hypothetically call it Okay, PowerPoints for Asia. This might contain all the PowerPoints that I used for direct instruction over the unit on Asia. I'll copy and paste this. Now it's going to ask me what directory I want to display. It's important that you do this correctly. If you don't change this and you just leave main files directory, when a student clicks on that directory, they'll be able to see every single file that you have for this course in Moodle including quizzes and so on and so forth. So make sure that you select the right one. In this case, I'm going to select PowerPoints. Now if you recall, when during our um, file management um, tutorial, we created a few of these, uh, uh, few of these uh, folders. Uh, within these folders, I created one called PowerPoints. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one, Unit 1 PowerPoints. I'll save and return to course. And it'll show up as a folder with the name right there. Now, I'm going to show you how to add things to this folder. Uh, we have covered it, but I'm going to kind of link the two together. If you click under Files in the Administration block, it'll take you to your files. In this case, I've already created a folder titled Unit 1. And I've created a folder called PowerPoints. In that, I have one PowerPoint. Now again, I could have one in here, or I could continue adding till I got five to ten PowerPoints, whatever it is that I needed this to display to students in this folder. I would do that. And again, I could simply add um, PowerPoints or whatever it is that I wanted to to this folder by clicking Upload a File, just as we've done in previous um, in previous lessons. I'm gonna go ahead and click back here. Actually, I'll go back to the class. So now I'll turn the editing off so you can see what it looks like. If I'm a student and I click on PowerPoints for Asia, it's going to display, in this case, just that one PowerPoint because it's the only one I put in there. Had I put in four others, five others, ten others, they would all be displayed right here for my students. You can name your PowerPoints uh, by date. You can name them by topic, any way you wanted to organize uh, that for them. But again, displaying directories is a nice way to organize your Moodle and not have a bunch of folders uh, displayed directly in a topic bar.